say that Paris Hilton was in jail, and you know how long she stayed there? As long as it takes to get out of jail. She walked in, and everybody said, hello, look at this, Paris Hilton, and then everybody started to cry and suffer. Oh my God, she's gonna be in a jail. Thousands of people go to jail every day, congressmen, senators especially, the whole government goes to jail twice a week. The Jews, are accountants, are going to jail every Thursday, Italians, every, th every third Italian and every fourth black person, every fifth Puerto Rican, everybody is coming and forth from the jail. Nobody cares, nobody notices. All they know is that nobody suffers there. As a matter of fact, they seem to have a good time there. Everybody that was once a heterosexual becomes a homosexual. Everybody enjoys each other's body, no matter what they're made out of. All of a sudden, the fat Jew starts to look appealing to a tall Gentile. Everybody's having the time of their life in the jails. And the rest of them are paying off the guards. How about a sandwich? How about a piece of cake? How about a cup of coffee? If you're Italian, you make a deal. If you're Jewish, you got a few dollars. If you're Italian, you threaten this guy and you get another few dollars. Everybody's having a good time. And everybody, nobody cares about anybody who's in jail. How much sympathy have you heard about Scooter Libby right now about to go to jail on a fraudulent charge that never existed? Somebody else squealed and they put him in jail. Big why? We got prosecutor, had no place to go. He had a job with no convictions. He has no convictions as a person. The man is a degenerate, a sicko who has a, a, a sick power trip because nobody ever noticed him in his life and he had a chance. And the only way he could become a big shot is by putting an innocent man in jail. And this is the greatest democracy in the world, except for the fact that if you have a, a special prosecutor, you know what a special prosecutor means? A special lowlife, a degenerate sicko. And you gave him power he doesn't deserve because he's a pig. And he all of a sudden found a way to put a poor sick man in jail for nothing. And nobody cares. You, any, you have any sympathy? Oh my God, Scooter Libby is going to jail. Who cares? Here's an old Jew who's probably going to last seven minutes in jail and pass away in an hour. Nobody cares. Here's a young... Uh, uh, ridiculous, obnoxious little girl, and uh, some kind of a degenerate, or maybe she's just a plain sex maniac, I shouldn't call her names, she means well, she's just trying to have a good time, I got nothing against her, that's my problem, I don't have nothing against her, I'm the only Jew I know who probably has nothing against her, but just because she's not my type, I'm not going to hate her. Like I noticed all the press today is furious that they let her out because she only did a minute and a half in jail. You know what I say? It's none of my business. If you happen to be a young, pretty blonde and you didn't hurt anybody, you didn't kill anybody, although she might have because she was a drunken driver, but nobody cares that Kordzain, the governor of New Jersey, who went 112 miles an hour in a 12-mile zone, had forgot to put on a seatbelt because he figures, well, he might kill other people, but he's not going to die, it's not going to be his problem. Nobody cares that Kordzain got away with it. Nobody cares that he's not going to jail. But all of a sudden, because this poor kid who just because she's a semi-degenerate and flops around from one bed to the other. Well, she can afford to be in a lot of rooms after all, she owns all the hotels. So, <laughs> so everybody is hurt and destroyed. Look at this, they let her out of jail. You know what I say? God bless her, more power to her. And I, I can't stand the people who are so sick and jealous because she's a sexy girl and they couldn't get in on it. It's killed them that everybody's having a good time with her except them. So the newspaper people are furious. Look at this, they're letting her out. What is it your business that letting her out? She got away with it. So what? Everybody gets away with it most of the time in this country. The ones who don't get away with it are very few. Those are the ones who get caught. You know who gets caught? One of a thousand crimes and criminals ever get caught. 99% of the people get away with it. Look at O.J. Simpson. Killed somebody means nothing. You know why? Because he said, well, I, who knew that I killed them? Two people that knife to pieces. You think I was there? I never heard about it. I had a knife, but I didn't know where I was. I never saw these people before. I was only married to her. That doesn't mean I knew her personally. Besides, I can't be guilty because look at this. There's no, there's no blood on my body. Everybody said the same thing. He can be guilty. His lawyers kept saying, there's no blood on his body. I want to ask you a question. If I stab you, would there be blood on my body? Do you ever see somebody stabbing somebody and saying, Here's, I'm stabbing you. That's one for you. Not one for me, not one for you. Here's another one for me, and one for you. Who ever did that before? Who stabs himself when they're stabbing somebody else? That's the dumbest defense I ever heard of it. I'm not saying the man is guilty. After all, he was declared innocent. A court of a jury declared him innocent. So maybe he is innocent. I don't know. It could also be that I'm talking to you for, from Uganda. <laughs> God bless Paris Sultan, and I'm glad she got away with it. Keep your life of degeneracy. Keep carrying on as long as you're enjoying yourself. It's none of my business. But do me a favor. At least give me a call once in a while.